we have a lot of huge problems. We have the nuclear problem in Korea, we have the nuclear problem in Iran. In, uh, uh, we, we have, of course, the whole array of problems, each of which Afghanistan uh, and, and so forth. But then we have the uh, financial issues. But they really are issues of the construction of a new world order. That's what this is about. What is our common bond truly? Freedom! Words were from the obsolescence. The Act of 1871 did far more than just create the District of Columbia, which is a 10 square mile area where they are sovereign in that area. It is a corporation that was set together, the United States Corporation, United States of America Corporation, U.S. Trust. But really, they're only their jurisdiction is in that area. However, they use their jurisdiction to... Uh, pretty much dictate what else is going on through the regulations and all of these regulatory bodies. So it's very important to understand the significance of something that happened 140 years ago that is impacting us so greatly today. Now, what it set into place was the fact that corporate form of governance is based on a civil law, an admiralty or maritime law, which is also known as the divine right of kings and the law of the seas. Another fact of American history that is not, of course, taught in our schools. Actually, Roman civil law was the fully established in the colonies before our nation began and then became managed by private international law. In other words, the government, the government created for the District of Columbia via the Act of 1871, operates solely under private international law, not common law. Although private international law is technically only applicable within the District of Columbia and not in other states of the Union, the arms of the corporation of the United States are called departments, i.e. the Department of Justice, the Department of Treasury, and those departments affect everyone no matter where and what state they live in. Each department belongs to the corporation, to the United States. Refer to any United States code, USC, and note the capitalization. This is evidence of a corporation, not a republic. For example, in Title 28, 3002, 15 ABC, it is unequivocally stated that the United States is a corporation. Now this corporation, the United States of America, is owned by the Bank of England. And who owns the Bank of England? The Rothschilds and the British throne. And who owns the Federal Reserve? The Bank of England, and the member banks that we call Citibank and J.P. Morgan Chase Bank of America, Wells Fargo now. The names change, but the ownership and the families remain the same. This is the true history of the United States, and this is why we are so enslaved, and why there's such a disparating difference between rich and poor, and the gap gets wider and wider while all of these progressives say they're going to keep helping the poor get... Uh, get rich? No, they're helping the poor live at the most lowest levels, providing them with free housing so they could buy their, you know, and some money to buy their cigarettes and their alcohol. Okay, they give them free housing and food and all of that, not giving them the opportunity to become upwardly mobile because these social programs don't work. They, de they give you a, a disincentive to work. These problems that we have in America are based on the social programs that were put into place. Of course, all in good intention to help the poor and, you know, increase the middle class, but it's done the opposite. And just about everything that they talk about it becomes the opposite. That's the uh, lesson to learn here from my six years of research into the New World Order and what is going on in America and the truth behind uh, all of the fiction that we hear on the radio and television and um, hear from our politicians. The corporation is not a separate and distinct entity. It is not disconnected from the government. It is the government. 
your government. It is extremely important that you refer to this corporate empire of the United States, which operates under Roman law outside of the original Constitution. This is the Anglo-American Empire. That's why we're the police force of the world, and we have military bases all over the place. The Snowden thing, the NSA spying on us, the IRS targeting groups, this is all to protect the Anglo-American Empire. I'd like to read from the Congressional Record, Speaker Rep. James Traficani Jr. of Ohio addressing the House from a speech in Congress in the bankruptcy of the United States under Congressional Record, March 17, 1993, Volume 33, page H1303. I quote, Prior to 1913, most Americans owned clear, a loyal title to property, free and clear of any liens or mortgages until the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 apothecated all property within the federal United States to the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve, in which the trustees, the stockholders, held legal title. The U.S. citizen, tenant, franchisee, was registered as a beneficiary of the trust via his or her birth certificate. In 1933, the federal United States hypothecated all of the present and future properties, assets, and labor of their subjects, ladies and gentlemen, the 14th Amendment, U.S. citizen to the Federal Reserve System. In return, the Federal Reserve System agreed to extend the Federal United States Corporation, which was incorporated in 1871, the Act of 1871, the treasonous act which destroyed the sovereignty of this nation, uh, made us pretty much uh, a colony of England again, uh, but this time it's done covertly and the people aren't aware that that it's the British that are behind this, the colonial rule, and they, they're all praising uh, the royal baby that's going to come. Everyone is just so mind controlled and so manipulated by the media and the adoration of it all and the generations of lies but if you look for this information, it's true. Look up the Act of 1871. Read it. You'll find out that we gave, we became a corporation, and yes, we are we are just collateral for the debt. Now, continuing on here. In return, as I said, the Federal Reserve System agreed to extend the Federal United States Corporation all the credit money substitute it needed. Like any other debtor, the federal United States government had to assign collateral and security to their creditors as a condition of the loan. Since the federal United States didn't have any assets, they assigned the private property of their economic slaves, the U.S. citizens, as collateral against the unpayable federal debt. They also pledged the unincorporated federal territories, national parks, forests, birth certificates, and nonprofit organizations as collateral against the federal debt. All has already been transferred as payments to the international banksters. That's the truth. So why we're in the situation we're in is they want to further take away property. They already made us tenants. Look at your, your deed, even if you own your house free and clear. And I know because I'm selling my house. It says you're a tenant. It doesn't say owner. That's right. As a result of this act for the Federal Reserve System. Unwittingly, America has returned to its pre-American revolution, feudal roots, whereby all land is held by a sovereign and the common people had no rights to hold a loyal title to property. Once again, we the people are the tenants and sharecroppers renting our own property from a sovereign in the guise of the Federal Reserve Bank. We the people have exchanged one master for another. We have to end the Federal Reserve. We have to take back our nation. Restore the Constitution. I mean, this information is getting out there. People are beginning to understand. I mean, even people that, you know, uh, you would think are, are closed-minded are starting to see as things change. Don't believe me. Find your own truth. There's only one truth. Seek and you'll find it.
the new world order. That's what this is about. What is our common bond truly? Freedom! All the real problems, each of which Afghanistan uh, and so forth, but then we have the, uh, the financial issues, but they really are issues of the construction. Obsolescence. The Act of 1871 did far more than just create the District of Columbia, which is a 10 square mile area where they are sovereign in that area. It is a corporation that was set together. We have a lot of huge problems. We have the nuclear problem in Korea, we have the nuclear problem in Iran, in, uh, uh, we, we have, of course, the 